Hi everyone, Jenny from Crafters Companion. I'm pretty excited today I get to share with you one of my favorite projects using alcohol inks. Did you guys know that our Spectrum Noir alcohol pens are refillable? The refills are not only good for refilling the markers, but they're also great for all of your mixed, midi mixed media projects that you're going to use alcohol inks for. It's a very economical choice and you also have a choice of 168 colors. I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to find several color combinations that you really like out of 100 and 68 colors. I have a million color combinations but today we're only going to play with a couple and I'm going to show you what you can do with it on a couple different textures. So let's start off with our dominoes. This here is a domino. I just applied it on there and now what I can do is I can stamp a couple things on it, put a pin back on the back of it and it's a piece of jewelry to wear. This one here is a little tiny 2x2 two two tile. I got it at Home Depot for maybe three cents. It was pretty cheap and now I can put a magnet on the back of it and it's a great little gift to put on the refrigerator. Take one of your little uh, paper flowers, glue it on there and put a greeting on it. It'd be amazing. So there's that. Here's a domino that I actually stamped after I colored it. It's a lot of fun. Here's a more intense color. I didn't finish this domino but it's very cool. Look how cool that color is. Um, here's a glass tile, again Home Depot project. Uh, I just bought it at Home Depot and put a little bit of color on top of the clear glass tile. Here's a, just an ugly washer, a metal washer. I put a little bit of ink on there and then I spritzed it with our iridescent spray and sparkle. This stuff is amazing. I almost eat this stuff but please don't eat it. So anyways, there is our spray and sparkle on top of a washer. Add a black cord to that or add a flower in the middle of it. Amazing. Uh, here's some metal tags that I've done. Fun little metal tags. You can stamp a greeting on that, put it on a gift card. Here is a tile that my son made. I'm very dear to this. I love it. So I'm going to actually set it aside. I do not want it to get messed up. I want to keep that one and put it in my living room. Here's one that I did. This is going to be a trivet. You can see that I played with my inks on it and then I let it dry and I stamped it with memento ink. Don't stamp with stays on ink. I did do that and it actually looked great until it dried. Once it dried I touched it and you can see that the ink lifted off and it didn't work very well. So I thought it was going to work but it didn't work. So I would go ahead and use your memento ink. So let's set this one aside. Let's see what else do I have here. I have fabric. I'm going to show you how I did this. I spritzed it on a piece of fabric and then I took a piece of metal and that's going to match. This is for a project for my little sister. And here is a butterfly. I did a little coaster. What you can do is you can actually put a piece of cork on the back of it. I had a piece here with cork on it and I don't see it. So cork works great. Here's just some cork like this and I just cut it and glued it on the back of my little coaster so it won't scratch the coffee tables. Then we have glossy paper. This one here is on glossy paper. I also put it on my little metal tag here, my little key. It's amazing. I spritzed it on my little flowers. You can put it on almost everything. Here's a piece of canvas. Works amazing on canvas. I love the intensity of this. You can actually stamp it or put somebody's name on it. It's a nice little gift tag for a gift bag. I love it. I made my own little t um, ribbon here out of some canvas also. So that's lots of fun. Here's another piece of canvas that I stamped and sprayed. That one's fun. More glossy paper. Here's actually the tile that has the cork on the back of it. So there's a brighter colored one. I was going to stamp some citrus stamps on this. I think it'll be kind of cool. So let's set that aside and get started. I was going to go ahead and do this big tile but I think we're going to do some little ones so I can actually show you how to do fabric also real quick. I don't want to make the video too long so let's get going. I'm going to use Jade Green 3 has a nice little glass pipette inside. I love this pipette. Very easy to add it right onto your felt. Please put your lids back on after every use. Otherwise you'll have a big old disaster like we did here. My white desk that's brand new is now blue. And my son's leg and brand new shorts are blue. So if you don't want that, you do want to be careful. So here we go. Now what I'm going to do is I have some rubbing alcohol put into a little mister bottle. I'm just going to spritz it so that my alcohol or my ink will go a little bit further. You can see I'm just dabbing it on here. You can also do it around the edge. I have a little bit of pink in there so we're picking that up too. Let's 
Go ahead and let it dry for a second and then you can put another coating on it. You can see it changes the texture every single time you touch it because the alcohol on there just kind of dilutes areas or dilutes areas of it and it changes it every time you touch it. So let's set, set, set that aside and let's grab a domino. You can do the same exact thing with a domino. I'm going to put a little bit more jade green into my felt and now I'm going to do the same thing. You can see how intense that is. This one here you can let it dry. You can spritz it with some spray and sparkle and then you can make it into a pendant just by adding a little pen on the back of it. So let it dry for a second. Blow on it for a second if you want to. There we go. You can see how it keeps changing. So the more I play with it, the more it's going to change. If I actually take my rubbing alcohol and I spritz it, you even get a different look. So there's a lot of different stuff that you can do with it. Just totally play with it and have fun. So there is my little domino. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of fabric. Here's a piece of fabric. And what I did here is I actually took some ink refill and I put it in the bottle. I did not use that much ink refill. I used maybe a couple pipettes full with maybe, you can see how much ink, alcohol I put in there. So it has alcohol and ink refill. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just mist my fabric with it. Doesn't it look cool? So if I wanted I could grab another color and put it right smack on top of that or I could let this dry for a minute and put another layer. And that's how I made this, these tags over here. I made these tags and I made, I showed you this one that I made for my sister. And that's, I don't want to get it all pink. So there you go, that's exactly how I did it. You can do your metal tins, you can do dominoes, you can do brads, you can do metal, you can do just about anything that you want to do. And all you have to do is just put it on a little piece of felt or a cotton ball, dab it on, and you're done. So remember 168 colors, please give it a try. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun with it. I do. I make a total mess, so please prepare your desk and uh, make it very safe. I have my craft mat down and I also have an apron on so I don't make a mess. If you don't want messy paws, then you want to go ahead and wear um, some latex gloves to keep it a little bit clean on your fingers. Uh, have a great day. Please share your projects on our Facebook pages. We'd love to see them. Have a great day.